going out there, all my Kryptonian Supergirl fans out there, this is Mr. Dark Phoenix bringing you guys some more Supergirl with myself, Batman, Superman, and Spider-Man. If this is the first time you're catching my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I post nerdy content every week. I review Gotham and Supergirl. I review Arrow and the Flash. And soon to be Teen Wolf, Game of Thrones, Legend of Tomorrow, and all that type of good old stuff. If this is the first time you're catching my channel, be wary, this is going to be a spoiler review. So if you haven't seen Supergirl, come back when you have. And if you have seen it, let's jump right on in to the newest episode of Supergirl, Human for a Day. A.K.A. the, you know, Supergirl realizes that it's kind of, kind of better to be an alien kind of thing. Uh, this episode did a lot of really good things, actually. A lot of good things. Um... The one thing I, the, the one thing Supergirl does that most other superhero shows don't do is, like, for the younger generation, it gives them a reason to read comics, it gives them somebody to relate to. You know, Supergirl being human this episode basically proves that, you know, no matter what you do, you just always have to prevail and do your best. Supergirl has been spitting out life facts. I just want to talk about that. These past couple episodes have been, like, true to life and that's what Supergirl's core is that's what Supergirl does that other comic book shows don't do that comic books do you know you'll read a comic book you'll be reading it and the character will say some really cool stuff or they'll relate to you somehow you're just like wow I have got to get my shit together or something like that or you've got to you know embrace who you really are or something like that or stuff like that and this episode did a lot of great things Clarissa Fockhart again was really good in this episode when you finally realize that she's Kara's, like, mom figure, you know, like, she's got her adopted mom, this is, like, more like her her mom also. And she did a lot of good things. Maxwell Lord needs to get his neck broken because he's a pain in the ass. And, yeah, Wynn is getting very upset at Kara, and I'm like, oh, God. Why can't you just pick him and just let Jimmy be with the other lane that's not Lois? But the biggest biggest thing in this episode was that we were we were right about Hank Henshaw being Martian Manhunter because everybody wants to spit out their comic book knowledge when something's right there in front of their faces but nobody wants to spit out the comic book knowledge and think outside the box everybody was like oh it's Cyborg Superman blah 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 and I was like it's Martian Manhunter it's gotta be Jean because his eyes turned red in that previous episode where they were messing with the bombs and it's gotta be Jean because it would make a lot more sense to have him be an alien hero in disguise versus Cyborg Superman there is no Superman <laughs> why would you have, why, 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 why would they put Cyborg Superman on the show when you already have her aunt who's gonna be like the, you know, the up to her level powerful kind of character instead of Jean who can possibly help out when she hits the fan. Just like in this episode, with the villain that can control your mind and whatnot. I thought they were gonna have a telepathic battle and Jean was gonna beat that ass and his head was gonna explode. But, you know, when the other sister wouldn't listen, she was like, you knew what happened to my dad. I made your dad a promise. The weird thing though, he said that there's only other one living person that knows about this. So does that mean that Dean Kane is still alive or? He's probably keeping him somewhere, because Dean Cain's also Superman, so. But all in all, that twist was amazing, because I was like, yes, we called it! Because, like I said, everybody wants to spit out the comic book knowledge when something is directly right in front of their faces, but nobody wants to really go into deep about comic books and think outside the box. Look at Arrow, look at Merlin, Tommy Merlin's the technical Merlin. But we got Malcolm, who's just, who's just as badass, so... Sorry guys, you got to open your mind to uh, other per other possibilities in life. But what did you guys think about this episode of Supergirl? I thought it was uh, the second best. For me, the first best of the season is Livewire. That's the best episode to me this season. But I like the message that this episode that this episode really uh, portrayed. I really liked how Kara b overcame what her powers aren't, and she's finally realized that the powers are just like gravy. You know, and the powers don't define her. And now she can basically know what it's like to be human and Kryptonian to combine them both and be a great badass hero. But, what did you guys think about the episode? Comment down below let me know what you felt about the John Jones twist. I loved it, but I can't wait to hear what you guys thought. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share with all your awesome friends. And always remember that through good times and bad times, remember to geek out 
and enjoy your lives, and I'll catch you guys next time for another great video.